Right, hello and welcome to the Geek Lab and today we're going to be looking at what you can do with Windows 7 if you've either forgotten your password or like me the system's been donated to you or you found it in a skip and you do not know the password. We're also going to show you uh, if for like this example this is a business computer so the administrator account is not accessible from the logon screen so we're going to show you how to activate that also. So the first thing you're going to do if it's already running is shut it down as you would normally just a complete full shutdown. Right once it's shut down what we're going to do is reboot it and then when it's the Windows logo comes on we're going to power it back down and you'll see why in a moment so if we just fire this up ignore any welcome screens we're after the logo for Windows itself so let's have a look here we go starting Windows little logo comes on and we press and hold the power button and that interrupts the booting process so when you start it again Windows will think there's been an issue starting itself, so we'll go into this repair mode. So we'll have a look at that starting up. So Windows will now go into this screen, which has two options, launch, start up, repair, or start Windows normally. We want to launch, start up, repair. We'll load some files. Excuse my little scratch on the screen there. And it will ask you, well, the startup repair is checking your system for problems. It will search for problems. Right, after a few moments of looking for problems, it will come up with this screen. It's, uh, do you want to restore your computer using system restore, restore or cancel? We want cancel. Because we want the system to try and fix the problems. Now, this screen, the attempting repair screen, will come up. And this may be on here for quite a while. Uh, first time I tried it with this system, it's 15 minutes. So I'll be back once that, once the next stage is up on the screen. Okay, if this screen comes up, we're going to have to do it again. So yeah, that's a pain when that happens, but just hard reboot it again and go through the process. This has happened to me before, and the second time I did it, uh, it went to where we want. So I'll be back once that screen is up. Okay, on the second attempt, we've got all what we want. It says start up repair, cannot repair this computer automatically. Uh, what we want is to click on this down arrow here. And if we scroll to the bottom, just wanna scroll, scroll to the bottom, you've got this link here. If the online privacy statement is not available, please read our privacy statement here. So if we open that, that opens this text document. We don't want the text document, but what we do want, if we go file, open this gives us access to this box which gives us complete control over files excellent so if we go to computer now you may see several different drives on here i've got a recovery drive os drive boot drive so it's the operating sorry it's the hard drive that your operating system is on so it might be called Windows, it might be C, in this one it's called OS. But before we do that, what you want to do is where it says uh, files of type, click on that and change to all files, or else half the files will be hidden. So double click on the, the drive you're operating system on. And what we're looking for is Windows. And then if we scroll down, looking for system 32 right once we're in there if we scroll down we're looking for a file called set hc set can be a bit of a pain right set hc so what we're going to do is click on the name twice and that will allow us to edit the name. Click on the end of the name and add a seven. Click enter. Let's rename that to set HC7. Well, what we can now do, 
scroll up and look for a file called command c c command cmd so what we want to do is click on this once right click copy go right down to the bottom and paste it and then what we're going to do is rename this set hc so let's click on it click on name type set hc set hc click enter and there we go once that's done we can close out of this or press cancel we can close this text file and click don't send on this one right you'll now come to this uh, window here so if you click finish the computer will shut itself down and we can now switch it on and next thing we'll do is wait for it to come onto the logon screen okay you've just missed the glorious logon music there but i suppose you've heard it before Anyway, once we're at this logon screen, what we've just done allows us to get to the command prompt from this screen. So if you press shift five times, the command prompt will pop up. Okay, so what we're going to do now is look at what user accounts are on, and we're going to change the passwords on them. So if we type in net user, you'll see the different accounts I'll reposition and zoom in on that okay you can see that here we've got three accounts 2020 ISIS administrator and guest now that account I've renamed to happy Larry later but it's still 2020 ISIS in there now what we're going to be doing later is activating the administrator account so you may not know the uh, password to the administrator account so what we do is type net user administrator hash a uh, star that's the one above the eight key it will now ask you to type a password so you can now set your own password confirm it and the password is now reset now we're going to also reset the one for the account we're going to go in via which is this 2020 isis thing so this is two words so if you type that in as is it will not accept it so what you need to do is type in in quotation marks uh, the username and star there we go we can now put in a new password for that account that is done so we've reset the password for the administrator and that one so all we do now is type exit there we go I shall reposition again right we are back at the login screen this is actually I don't know why it's come up with a different name but it's this is the ISIS 2020 account so if we type in and notice at the moment the administrator account does not appear on this logon screen because it's locked away it's deactivated so what we're going to do is log on to this account and use this account to activate the administrator account once it's I'll come back once it's logged on now the next stage we'd normally go to the start button and type in msc in the search bar but that's not working on this computer for some reason so what we'll do on this one is go to explorer uh, go to C where the operating system lives and then type in msc dot exe into our search and let it whirl away to find it okay it's come up with loads of suggestions but what we're looking for this is ms config 64-bit version there if we open that up this computer's been a bit slow today right we can now go to tools I shall zoom in for you 
Right, what we're looking for is computer management. If you click on that, and then you can click on this little launch button down here. Right, once you've done that, this window here will pop up. And if you click on local users and groups, which is under system tools, this computer's being slow today, you can then click on users, and then you can click on administrator. Double click that. This will open and you can see here, it says account is disabled. Deselect that, click apply. Okay, close everything. And you should now, if you click switch user, and there we go. We now have the administrator account, which I can click on and it should accept my password. There you go. That is logging in. And there we have our administrator account. So there you go. That is how to bypass the passwords and how to activate the administrator account. If this video has worked for you, then please let me know in the comments. Any questions, let me know in the comments. If the video has been useful to you, then please consider liking and sharing it. And also, if you like this sort of video, then please consider subscribing. Other than that, you can join us on Facebook and Twitter, support us through Patreon if you wish, and just reminds me to say thank you very much for watching, and I hope this has been of use. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy.